Hey guys, Cha Chuan here, and today I'm very excited. I've been waiting months. <laughs> so this is Capsule Chicks. This doll was designed by the creator of Monster High, or the co-creator? I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, the guy who helped on designing Monster High designed this doll. So you know it's going to be good. This is the Control Out Magic doll in the series. There are four to collect. I got mine from Tesco's, here we can see the various sides of the box, different dolls you can collect, sorry it's a bit dark in here, it's a, it's a dark day but I'm too excited to wait. <laughs> so there are four different ones to collect, I got mine at Tesco's for £12, I think they're on sale there but anyway it's £12 from Tesco's, usually they're 15 though. My backdrop's a little crinkled because uh, it just is. So ignore the fact that my backdrop is crinkled. Let's get into <laughs> opening this. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay, so we have it out of the packaging and now we're ready to get opening it. So the really cool thing about these dolls is that they come in this gacha machine type box. It actually works. It's not just the show, it works. Like, it's so cool. So, I believe what we have to do is... So this comes off like that. There we go. Oh, there's a, there's a booklet. So we get our booklet and it tells us how to put our dolls together, as well as different dolls you can get. I won't go over that, that's just... it's a booklet, you know? Anyway. Now is the fun part. So, we turn this. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh! It's a, it's a, it's a gas regime. It's so fun. Oh my gosh! I think I'll get all of these out so we can get rid of this box. Ooh. So we can get rid of this box and have more space to open these. So in your box you should have five little gacha things and obviously your book. Get rid of this. And inside each one is various bits and bobs like the head and the body and the limbs I think are all in different parts as well as your clothing so yeah let's get into it. I'm gonna need some scissors here. I got my nice multicolored scissors. I actually bought them for taxidermy but they're too pretty so I'm using them for this instead. And then oh, I'm quite weak so this is gonna be a challenge. Is this a, is this a twist or a, a pop thing? Cool. There we go. Twist them. One. I've just realised there's, there's a there's a tear strip. There's a tear strip on the top of them. I'm an absolute idiot. Oh, it didn't work anyway. <laughs> Woo. Okay, ignore that. If you can't tell, I'm crouched on the floor because I don't have a desk yet. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the tear strip to work. Oh, it worked! Fun. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Of course, the last one is the impossible one to open. Oh, there we go. Never mind, I'm just I'm just a bit stupid. Okay. Okay, so we have our five mystery bags. I think in this one we have the body of head. Well, so we wonder way to find out. And ooh. oh, it's hair. Ooh. I do like the I do like the colours of these, nice and vibrant. Okay, so we have blue hair with 
with a little flower on it. Ooh, things are falling out. We've got our shoes, a tiny little watch, it's very tiny, easy to lose, and um, I'm not really sure what this is, maybe a necklace, a, a belt, maybe a belt. This is our head, I love the design of the face. I'll give you close-ups in a minute until we've opened all of them, but this is the head. Plus, in this bag we also have the stand for the doll, so this is how the doll stands up. And here we have the legs. I love these dolls because they have jointed feet as well. Oh, my foot joint's a bit stiff. We'll do an overview in a bit. It's different material to the other bags, this one. It's like a vinyl plastic, whereas the other one was like crinkly plastic. <laughs> and here's our body. Ooh, we got wings. Those are pretty. Okay, I'll put the doll together and we'll give a bit of a review. Okay, so I have my doll put together and I gotta say, I think I've been given a accidental extra hair piece. So, um, yeah. Not sure what to do about that. <laughs> Maybe I could make my own custom hairpiece with it, since I do like to customise dolls. So the doll stands with this plastic bit and one of the tops of your little um, gacha pods. So it's an interesting stand design. So the doll itself is really high quality. I love the face. It is vibrant, it's colourful, detailed. I love the little star highlights in the eyes and the gloss. It's really pretty. The posability, it has ankle joints so it can bend its feet. You'll probably see it better when the shoes aren't on, but we get the idea. Oh, the shoes come off there. Eh? Let's take the shoe off. I find that the joints are really stiff on the feet, though I guess that will vary from doll to doll. Put the shoe back on. The shoes are a soft, like, vinyl plastic. So they're easy to put on, take off. The knee joint is, it's not too stiff, it's not too loose, it's just right. Then get the other one too. It's got a standard 90 degree bend angle on it, so nothing too fancy there. But really good for such a small doll. I'll get a measurement of this doll in the end. Then the hip joint bends the hip too. Go all the way up, like that. See how far it bends backwards. Yeah, it bends almost 90 degrees back. Quite good. This doll is also really cool because it can bend at the waist. Not much, but can you see that? I couldn't actually get mine quite <laughs> on properly as it was really stiff. So if you can see I've got a bit of a gap there, but I'm sure if I like force it on it'll, it'll go on, but I don't want to hurt my hands. <laughs> it is quite difficult. And the wrists, I find that the wrist joints are really stiff, but they are, they are doable. They'll loosen up once you like play with it and use it. I'm going to display mine probably, getting the best angles for you so you can see bending the wrists. Elbows, or shoulders bend. Maybe the shoulder goes up and it goes out as well. It's got a like a ball joint almost in there. A bit stiff. <laughs> Elbow can twist as well. So you can twist. Other arm also does the exact same thing. I'm not going to bother demonstrating the other arm. It is really stiff. And the head also has really good posability. Bent down, up. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> that might be a problem you, problem you encounter with this doll. If you don't put it on properly, it will come off. <laughs> a 
Oh, okay, that's on good enough. Side to side, standard movement. The, the wings do get in the way as long as there's long hair. You get different accessories with each doll, so it's not guaranteed what you're going to get. I didn't know I was going to get this particular set of clothes. Oh, I should mention the clothes, the top and the trousers are sculpted on, so if you wanted to change those, you would have to either make your own trousers for them or paint over them. Mine also came with these wings. They are removable, they are soft, squishy, bendable vinyl. They've got this kind of circuit pattern. You know, let's, let's take off the back of the hair. As you can see, the hair attaches a bit like a nendroid. If, you have, if you've seen how a nendroid works, they're a bit like nendroids. So the wings are nice, shiny, metallic. Am I in focus? There we go. We're in focus now. The wings are nice, shiny, metallic, slightly translucent, really pretty. And uh, I just, I think this yellow thing is a belt. Can't be 100% sure, it's a bit strange. <laughs> but I'm using mine as a belt. I will say I'm not really into the seashell aesthetic, the mermaid aesthetic, but um, if that's what you're into, then it's really nice, detailed. You maybe would want to paint this a bit to make it more, more detailed. But yeah, I think for the scale of this doll, they are incredibly detailed. You don't see these tiny dolls like this with this much articulation. I'll show you how the hair connects. You got your hair piece. So put it, you slot it on like that. And then you've got your fringe piece. So yeah. So let's go over some pros and cons of this doll. Of first impressions, basically. So let's do the good things first. Lots of points of articulation. You've got the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle, and waist. So that's a lot of articulation. These are extremely customizable with each box having different clothes, though the chance of you getting a double I'd say it's unlikely since each box has completely different hair, tops, trousers, everything. But you might get occasional like doubles of parts like this. This I don't think I was even meant to have. I think it's uh, like a manufacturing error. We've got an, an extra hair piece. <laughs> Though uh, please let me know in the comments if I'm meant to have this, since I already have one here. Dunno. Anyway. I do find that the joints are quite stiff, but I think that will vary from doll to doll. Stiff joints can be a pro or a con. I think here they're a little bit of a con since they are really stiff. If you are a small child, then this would be really difficult to play with. <laughs> Though they are loosening up as I fiddle with it and use it more. If you're a doll customizer, I have heard that this face is really difficult to remove. Acetone doesn't do a lot. The doll itself has sculpting in the vinyl. As you can see, it's got like this circuit design in the arms. Oh, I forgot to mention this tiny little watch. This tiny watch on the wrist there. That's a nightmare to put on. I don't know if the hands are removable or not, I'm pretty sure they are, but even if they were, this watch doesn't actually go all the way around the wrist, as you can see. I'd say a con about this doll is you don't know what you're going to get, you might not like what you get in the box, and there's no way of telling what you're going to get. The best thing you can do is look at which dolls are in the series and go, I like the majority of the dolls in Control Alt Magic, or what was the other one? Rock Glam or something? The hair pieces are squishy soft vinyl, so easy to put on, you are not likely to damage the face. Same goes for the shoes, they are soft so you're not going to damage the feet. The hands, feet and maybe the forearms are a kind of softer vinyl, whereas the head, torso and legs are a hard plastic. And um, I can't tell what the upper arms are. So uh, we'll ignore those. <laughs> I think that's it for the doll. 
Overall, I would say it's definitely worth the money. They're £15 each in the UK, or 12 at my local Tesco's. <laughs> you can get them from like Argos, Tesco's, um, I'm not sure where else would really have them. Amazon, probably, those kind of places. Just look online, you'll find somewhere. eBay has them, Argos. I'm not sure where in America or other countries would have them, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them as they are quite popular right now. I'd say for the price, definitely worth it. You get a lot for your money, and you're not gonna find such a detailed doll like this for that kind of price, at least not from what I've seen recently. <laughs> And I love the kind of gimmick of the box being a gacha machine. And apparently you can reload it. You can reload it to put the gacha pieces out again. And I'll try and show you what the mechanism looks like inside this. So inside, if we can see, I don't want to rip the box apart. So inside, can you see there's like a hamster wheel? And you turn that of the gacha ball and it'll roll it out. So that's how that works. It's not too complicated. Sometimes the gacha balls get stuck. All you gotta do is just give the machine a little jiggle and they should fix themselves. So yeah, that is this box. You can reload it, you can use it again. There's the back of it. Let's give you a closer look at the back of the box. So we see it's posable, there's doll example, the artwork is so pretty, it's incredibly detailed and it's just a really nice box. You can see I got um, the mermaid trousers and the mermaid belt. Is it a belt or is it like a weird purse thing? I don't know. Oh, here's the other lines. We have Giga Glam, Ram Rock, and Control Out Magic. Which one did I get then? That can't be right. This is Control Out Magic. So what's that? Oh, whatever. There's a yellow one as well. <laughs> You've got blue, yellow, pink, and purple as your colours. And um, some of them do come with, these are ultra rare apparently, they are fabric clothes, so you can make fabric clothes for your doll if you wanted to, but be aware it's quite difficult for sewing at that scale. Regular doll clothes are already difficult, so I can't imagine how difficult it would be to, to sew on that scale. Let's have a look at the front of the box. So you got 15 plus pieces inside, it's your logo, plus over 4 billion designs to mix and match, so that's a lot, you're never going to collect all of them. <laughs> well who knows, maybe you might. There's the front art of this box, Control Alt Magic, and the gacha design. I don't think there's anything on the, oh, there's the little flap that came down earlier. Nothing on the bottom of the box, nothing on the top, nothing on the sides really other than information. The capsules themselves are pretty simple. They do have the logo of capsule chicks on them, a little bit of like engraved design on them. See they got the like circuit design. And uh, the nice sturdy plastic so you could definitely reuse these and they twist together rather than popping out. I'm really glad these are a twist design rather than a pop out because I'm very weak. Children wouldn't be able to open them otherwise. <laughs> Let's have a look at the booklet just quickly. As you can see, it's very detailed, vibrant colors. I love how vibrant everything is. And obviously these are for children six and up. Inside we have Control Alt Magic Collection. Find your fashion pieces from this collection and that's the code I have. There is a page of this booklet dedicated to codes. Ah, I see. There are different codes for different faces. Here are the different faces of this collection. Very cute, very detailed, love them. 
make a splash limited edition I don't know what that is and here are some clothes that you can get in this collection I love this unicorn girl I kind of wish I got her to be honest and here's some other dolls from the other collection. Different hair you can collect. I got this one, which is cam underscore h underscore 07. That's a really cute doll there. <laughs> okay, so that was the booklet, and uh, on the back of the booklet they have some simple instructions on how to use the doll stand, and how to use the gacha machine, various different languages there as well. So yeah, that's the booklet. The doll stands at about four and a half, five inches tall. Yeah, four and a half inches tall, so it's really tiny. Uh, in centimetres, that is about 12 centimetres-ish. So it's a really tiny doll. <laughs> so I think that's about it for this doll review slash unboxing slash first impressions. So the gist of it is, really good doll, worth the money. I highly recommend it if you know someone who loves dolls or if you are a collector yourself. Very good. Love them. Absolutely love that face so much. I have been waiting months to buy one of these dolls so I'm really happy to find my own one and maybe I'll do a little bit of customising on it but who knows, we'll see. She's tea posing. <laughs> okay. Hope you enjoyed this video, links to all of my social medias are in the description and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!